Laura, the study of cosmology, the origin and the structure of the universe and multiverses is one of the most profound questions we can ask. In recent decades, we've moved from not only observations, but to something called quantum cosmology, applying the theories of quantum physics to the universe. Now, at first blush, that seems absurd because quantum mechanics deals with the smallest particles that exist, and the universe is the largest structure that we, we have. So how do you, how do you uh, uh, combine them, and why is quantum cosmology now so important? Uh, the, the universe is big now, but uh, it, it was pretty small before. At, at its beginnings, it, it was something like uh, 10 to the minus 43 centimeters. That, so that's that the so-called Planck length, uh, that's which is the, the smallest line. imaginable. Now, how do you know that? <laughs> well, um, it, we, we study our universe uh, through two cherished theories quantum theory and, and uh, the theory of uh, general relativity, which is really a theory of gravitation. Mm -hmm. And, and um, in, in general relativity, you have this constant, Newton's constant, that, that tells us about the strength of gravity. Inverse of that gives us the, the Planck length, and, and that, that's where that number comes about. Uh, how do we know that the universe was, was that small uh, earlier on? Is simply by, by tracing backwards the, the evolution. We, we know... We know it's expanding now, so we run the movie backwards. Exactly. Exactly, okay. and, and we also know the, the um, ingredients that this universe contains because uh, the, the growth of the universe is determined whether it's filled up with matter or radiation or energy or whatnot. Since we know the composition of the universe at every epoch, then, then we can uh, trace to high accuracy its size very early on from, from the beginning. So since the universe started off very small, it means that uh, quantum theory should apply to it. And, and that uh, brings us head on with the big problem, and, and that is the friction the continuing friction between the theory of general relativity and, and uh, the quantum theory. There, there is no easy answer out of, of that conundrum yet. Uh, we, we do not have a uh, theory of quantum gravity, but, but one of the uh, candidates that, that uh, at least uh, allows us to talk of quantum mm -hmm. gravity and do a calculation when, when that becomes necessary, such as, as the early universe, uh, that theory is uh, the theory of quantum cosmology. And Bryce DeWitt and, and John Wheeler were, were the two founding fathers of, of that theory. Quantum cosmology um, is attempting to describe the, the universe as, as a quantum wave function, but um, it, it's also attempting to do so when the force of gravity is extremely important. And, and, and that's why we, we look at that theory as a quantum gravity theory of, of So the normally the quantum wave function defined by the Schrodinger equation is for very, very small things in which gravity has no yes. significance because yes. the order of magnitude of gravity, although gravity exists, is so minusculely small in comparison, right? Yeah, yeah. but, but back then the, uh, the force yeah, of gravity yeah, of was course, extremely important. And, um, and, and quantum cosmology is studying the universe when, when uh, space-time does not exist yet, so um, it operates on an abstract space given by, by the three geometries of, of these uh, quantum particles that will become universes and, and given by whatever fields and, and quantum particles uh, these uh, objects will contain. Um, it's a timeless equation in the sense that it, it gives us a set of initial states of what will become universes, but um, it, it is limited by, by this uh, problem that, that uh, it constrains us to, to a timeless evolution of, of the universe. Uh, and and what, what does that mean? Because quantum, uh, in general, is a development over time. Yeah. It, it, it's an assumption of the theory that says that the total energy of the system, including the gravitational energy given by, by the geometry uh, and, and all the uh, particle content, uh, the sum of, of all those objects should add up to zero. <laughs> Because gravity is, is a, 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 you have the mass and the a negative. Uh, uh, so yeah, the sum of, of the gravitational Hamiltonian plus the uh, quantum field Hamiltonian should add up. Which is the total on, energy of the system. Exactly. Uh, acting on the wave function of the universe, that should be equal to zero. So now normally the Schrodinger equation says that the sum of all the energies acting on the wave function should be equal to the time evolution, is, is right. the time derivative. Right. Uh, in, in this case, it's equal to zero. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it limits that evolution. A and so that that is a, a fantastic assumption that y you don't have to create energy, matter of energy, exactly. because it's zero, but you have two different 
kinds of expressions. That's one's it. a negative, one's yeah. a positive, yeah. and together they're zero. So theoretically, a, a zero yeah. can just emerge out of nothing. Yeah, Is that that, that's the, exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, that, that seems pretty incredible, don't you think? It's, uh, and, and it also opens a can of worms, and that's why quantum cosmology has been uh, the, the object of so much criticism and, and discussion sure. and debate, because again, it takes us back to the question, what is time? What does it mean to have a timeless entity? And um, it, it tells us about uh, the state of the universe at one particular moment, at time equals zero, at the <laughs> very beginning. But, but uh, it, it makes it hard for us to, to follow what was there before. So it's just looking at the overview. Them. What are the kinds of questions, uh, theoretically, can quantum cosmology answer? Uh, well, it, it can answer quite a lot of questions as, as long as we are aware that there are these this, um, uh, still unexplored issues such as the concept of time and, and, uh, and, and many other um, subtleties that, that uh, mm -hmm. quantum cosmology contains. But for example, I used it in, in my theory. I, I use quantum cosmology to exactly um, be able to, to address the question of the probability. What's the chance that, that our universe could start at high energy inflation? And what else can happen at, at those energies? And, and the only way to do that, at, at that regime, uh, general relativity breaks down. So we, we need a, a quantum theory of gravity. And, and at present, the only working theory we have uh, is quantum cosmology. So.